It's been a little while since I've covered a French fried girl, Frenchy do video, um, but I decided yesterday with all the news coming out about um, the eight passengers, Ruby Frankie, Jody Hildebrand, and the all that doorbell cam, the the police body cam the um i mean it was just so tragic so much more information that um i didn't want to cover something as petty as Chantel. but let's get back into our rhythm here with petty Chantel and her bullshit have a great weekend girl okay what do you got well hello there how are you? I hope you're having a great day. My beady-eyed self here. About yeah, bitch, I was going to say, by the looks of it, I'm having a better day than you, and I'm having a pretty shitty day. So that's saying something. She looks nuts. She looks like a slug or like like a worm coming out of the ground. Like, ooh, you got my food? Ooh, I am here. Whoop. And it's like worm head pops out. She looks nuts. Just, <laughs> I should have stuck with nuts. Janet Pirate, thank you for the super chat. You too! Oh my god, happy birthday. What I don't understand is uh, why she has to rip open all of the bags for all of these takeout orders. She just like tears into these bags and does not keep them intact at all. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but like when I do fast food or takeout or something, I will keep the bag intact so I can put all the wrappers, all the trash back in the bag and have it contained, but apparently this woman has no logic. Birthday! Have a great birthday weekend, girl. Alright. Do you have a mukbang for you? Let's call this fast food Friday, even though in that case most things are Friday for me, but anyway. See? Thank you to Cutlery, that's a bonus. Oh. Homemade food. Is it because her her hands are too large? Is that why she does it? Like she can't fit her hand in the bag going in from the top? I'm very confused about this and I'd like to understand her logic behind doing this. So much better. But you know what? I cooked yesterday. I didn't film, I didn't do a video. I don't really have a lot going on in my life. So I don't know what's gonna Wow. She's not usually that honest. Like, we know you have luck all going on in your life, but every time you talk about your life, you're just so busy and there's just so much going on. When she's depressed enough, she'll give you a little nugget of the truth, huh? Tammy, thank you for the super chat. It's your pop's birthday. Happy birthday to Macy Lou. I believe she also uh, did another live stream after this, which I've seen bits and pieces of in which um, it was also pretty boring, and she just spent most of her time bitching about um, React channels. So, not surprising on her part. Like, she, she can't. Her entire idea of content is eating on camera. And the fatter she gets, the weirder it is to watch. What's gonna happen with my channel, though? Ooh! I wanted like a triple burger, so I got a triple burger. <laughs> All right, now this fat behavior. Is, I think it's called Sobia. It's these drinks, popular drinks that they make during Ramadan. Like this has like vanilla, coconut. It's really delicious. So I'm gonna have some. This entire meal is more calories than any human should have in a single day. This is a crazy amount of calories. <laughs> Line Jello was so good at the game last night. By the way, it was such a fun game. Um, I would like to please ask that all of my haters on the hater ass beaches come to the game because I find it much easier to write these raps when I'm dunking on someone. Um, make French fried girl does um, Twitch gaming. Uh, so if you want to check that out, I have not checked it out because I'm not really into gaming, but she does a gaming thing on Twitch. 
I think I think she said it was called Jackbox, and it's interactive with her audience. So if you like that sort of stuff, check it out. But that what you will. But my 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 best ones last night were definitely against hijab cheese. So hater ass beaches, please join our game. Ah. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Manic burnt pockets payday binge fest. Oh, that's why she wanted a triple burger. Of course, it makes so much sense now. Mm hmm. And we also have a bottle of this stuff for Ramadan. I forget what it's called. I'll have to put it in. Uh, notice, by the way, after the last time of me screaming at the screen for her to get a fucking glass and fill it up with drink and not drink from the, you know, trough. Look at her getting a little plastic glass out of God. No, can you even call it a glass if it's a plastic? Look at her getting a little. No, I'd be called a cut, but like, uh, yeah, FFG pointed that out, but so did like a lot of react channels, myself included that um, she was just taking stuff that was supposed to be like served up to an entire family and just drinking straight out of it. And um, that indicates to us that she lives alone, right? It's kind of like uh, people who drink straight out of the milk bottle, you know? Plastic <laughs> and filling it up with her drink. I see you, beesh note it's really good though <laughs> i don't know honestly i don't know what it is okay bismillah i want some now of this mm. i want some now of this it tastes like grape juice to me so it's a lot that they drink it very popular during ramadan okay so these fries i don't even know what's on them jalapenos onion okay so notice that plastic cutlery did come with the meal she is not unequipped here, okay? And ground meat, uh, beef bacon. That doesn't look good at all. That looks like someone already ate like like food and that was the leftovers on their plate and then they just dumped it into a box and gave it to her. Cheese and some kind of spicy sauce. Yeah, here we go. First plate for you. What's up with um, Foodie and Amberlynn overspicing their meals? I mean, I would think that they already have stomach problems to begin with. Why are they going to attempt fate like that? Hmm. They're called volcano from. Did you see what she just did with her head? Wait. <laughs> the way, <laughs> the way she throws her head back. Instead of, you know, taking like a normal sized bite, she doesn't want the food to fall out. So she throws back her head to chew. That's what my dog used to do. That's what Ollie used to do. You eat like a fucking dog. For real, for real. My dog would take massive bites of food, throw back his little head so God forbid a crumb is wasted. And that's how he would eat. A fucking dog. Yeah. Mm. Just like that. Without They're called volcano process. fries. They're pretty good. I like the thick cut, like the steak fries. I don't like those skinny straw fries. Like, I just find they get too cold. I like the skinny fries better. Um, and Chantel, you don't have to finish everything on your plate. You realize this? You can decide, I'm full. And I'm done with this meal, right? You can be done. Steak fries, in my opinion, are too much like eating potatoes because they're too thick. That's just my opinion. Um, but they are, they have too much of a potato flavor. Whereas if I am going to have fries, which is very infrequent, um, I would like those fries to have more of the salty kind of crispy fry taste to them like hard fast okay i've never she only likes the thick fries she doesn't like the skinny fries even the skinny fries are like competing with her she's a hater ass beach to anything skinny and that's fries included nixie hello thank you for the super chat yeah what did happen to the pyramid scheme drinks we never even hear her faking that una mate garbage anymore eh? 
Mm. We're having, I don't know if I'm ever eating a triple burger. Let's see. All right, how am I going to dislocate my jaw? Shut up. I don't know if I've ever eaten a triple burger. How would you think to order a triple burger if you don't regularly siphon into your fat? Short and sore, no. Fat face, triple burgers. How am I going to unhinge my jaw? Just like every other day. Come on, this is not your first fat rodeo. Stop it. KY Mama, thank you for the super chat. Trying to get through the long work day to get to the weekend, get away with my BFF. We're about to see her deconstruct the burger because she realizes it's too large for her mouth. Which is, I mean, that's quite a statement because we've seen her, you know, push a lot of shit down her, uh, down her fucking pie hole before. But, um, I guess she decided this was a little too big for her mouth. So, rather than attempt to bite it at different angles, you know, so that you're um, keeping it intact as a burger, but, um, you know, taking, like, portions off from the bottom and then portions off from the top, she decides to deconstruct the burger, which is fine. And as I pointed out, they gave her cutlery. If you're going to deconstruct your burger, you are now going to take that plastic knife and fork and cut it up and turn it into bite sizes so you can eat it like a human being and, and not look like a, a freaking Neanderthal. For her birthday, that's so much fun. Enjoy your weekend getaway. Yummy. <laughs> Greasy and cheesy. Wow. Nobody asked you your blood type. <laughs> FFG's rainbow fries. Thank you for the super chat, ghoul. Hmm. Okay. She, um... I don't think she likes it all that much because she's not making as many sex noises while she's eating it. Let's try this here. Hold on. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. How do you drink something that you don't know the name of? That That's a question for a normal person. <laughs> You're talking about Chantal here. You know who drinks a drink that they don't know the name of? Somebody who finds a glass pipe at a stranger's house, picks it up off the floor, and smokes the drugs in it. That's who. Yeah, I don't have anything to talk about. Good. Well, you know what I saw today and I'm super excited for? I saw the trailer for Beetlejuice, too. It's actually happening. Yeah, it is. They've been advertising it for weeks. I don't know, like, why all of a sudden this is news to you, but all right. No, this woman hates herself. Come on. Okay, the eating constantly, the mukbangs, the overeating, da da da. You get a triple burger. Triple burger. Yep. Get. She's just siphoning meat and cheese into her mouth at this point. This is so, well, you know what? I, I would say sad. Sad if it wasn't Chantal, but Jesus Christ, you you watch somebody die a little bit every day. Yeah. You don't need anything that's on that table, Chantal. Fuck, a triple burger. Yes. I want to say, can you even imagine? But like, can you imagine being this close to losing a limb and you crave a triple burger? How do you celebrate? Because you've been broke all month. You get pay, you, like your payday, and so you right away eat a triple burger? That's the saddest fucking thing. And you eat it all alone? Where's your fake husband to fucking break the fast with you? Why are you even breaking the fast alone? Everything you do is alone. Is he with his family? With his friends? Why are you not invited? Because this whole thing is fake? Is that why you needed a triple burger to cope? Mm. Look at my body. Thank you for the super chat. Beetlejuice 2 comes out September 6th. She's really optimistic that she thinks she's going to last that long. Bloop. You said it. Bloop. 
while she was scarfing down this bullshit, I was uh, having Chinese with my boyfriend. Um, I had an egg drop soup, a cup of egg do drop soup. He had a cup of hot and sour soup. And we shared an entree of shrimp with vegetables and rice. So, and we didn't even get through all of it, right? We made sure that we ate all the protein out of it so that, you know, we got the most bang for our buck. But, like, we really couldn't finish the whole dish. And that was two people, one entree, and the only extra thing we had was a cup of soup each. And, you know, all I was drinking was their green tea the whole time. So it's just, it's just amazing to compare like what I put in my body that is obviously much smaller than hers, um, compared to how she just like doesn't care. She doesn't care. It's probably over 500 pounds and she's on death's door. She might have to start losing limbs. And she does not care. Does not care. There's some tasty meat. It's a fucking abomination. Anyway. Jenna Ortega, isn't it? Lydia, the um, one on a rider. And Michael Keaton. It's too big to eat like all at once. So I'm going to eat it like this. Don't hate me. It's so tasty. Why can't you use your cutlery and actually like, eat it respectably and not just like pick it up with your fucking dirty hands? Of course, she found a way to make it look even more disgusting as she eats it. Oh, oh I mean, Nemi, you're not wrong. <laughs> it is the only meat she gets. <laughs> I'm going to eat like this. It's just so cheesy. If you're going to eat it this nasty and like you just said, you have nothing to talk about. Why are we here, Chantal? Why are we here what you don't you don't do income tax anymore you can't say you're writing this meal off why are we here <laughs> this this is not video worthy video the plus that's insane could you imagine i don't even think she's organized enough to like keep track of her write-offs like this where you know like my uh, my mom was a public school teacher and she had a box that she kept and so anytime i gotta sneeze sorry Ugh. anytime um she spent uh money on the classroom like classroom supplies or whatever it was that was like dedicated towards her job she would put the receipt in that box and save it all year and then when she went in for her to do her taxes she would just pull the box out and hand it all over to the tax attorney, or not that, C CPA, not a tax attorney, a CPA. Anyway. Also has Catherine, has like most of the original cows. So it looks like Beetlejuice is back to bees. Yeah, the bacon here is made with like beef mostly, or turkey. Like, at the Wendy's here, the baconator is called the beef beefinator. <coughs> Did you hear that, you fucking meth addicted freak in our community, Amber? Some people go to Wendy's to buy things, not to rob the Wendy's. Did, take them a little mental note of what Chantal. I don't know what this part is. I saw it. Um... I guess it was maybe last night when she was doing this. Um, and I was very confused by it. Because I don't know what this whole like side drama is. Um, I don't really follow other React Channel drama. Um, but I'm not even sure if this is a React Channel. This might just be like somebody who's showing up in the chats. or I have no idea what this is. But, um, this is a whole side story that I think is unrelated. Just said, purchased something at Wendy's, didn't go there to rob it for meth money, 
Amber, thank you. Oh, oh shit. No, not you, Amber. <laughs> oh, my God. What a bad coincidence. Her name happens to be Amber, but she's a method-addicted fucking Robbie's at... Uh, Robbie's. I, I called it Robbie's instead of Wendy's. Wendy's robbing sociopath. Uh, not that, Amber. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, girl. Thank you for everything that you do. And again, this is not that, Amber. So yeah, I haven't had beef in a while. Even the meatloaf I made yesterday. Love that. And another thing, she also robbed her parents' friend's house for more meth money. Because, you know, that Wendy's meth money just went so quick. It was made with chicken. <laughs> I took two chicken breasts and ground them in a food processor. That was really good. No, you didn't. Stop it. Why would you even do that? <laughs> why would you? Why would you do that? I mean, if you if you got two uh, chicken breasts, why aren't you like cubing it or cutting it in strips or something like that? Like, why would you do that? My God, look at the beat is really getting to her. She got to chug both of those drinks and ah, oh, out of breath in between them. I hate this video. Is anything going to happen? Because like, I, I could dip on this one right now. Oh, my God. What in the demon? Wait, wait, wait. Everybody grab your screenshot. Hold on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give me a second, please. This is, uh, I don't know what fucking, uh, de gel we just came across here, but, oh, my God, it's it's the cheeseburger monster. What the fuck face is that? What is wrong with her? Look at that face. Look at that face. So she doesn't like the burger. She, you know, is now in the regret moment of, I just wasted all these calories on something that didn't taste as good as I thought it would. So why are we here? Ugh. Look at, she's eating like vom on a bun. That trotter is the size of her head. Whoa, you know what? You're right. Holy shit. That's crazy. Look at the size of that trotter. <laughs> Which is I think this is a little bit of forced perspective because her hands are closer to the camera than her head is and her head is covered by this hijab that also obscures the size of her head happened i lost my shit look at this face jerry bless the mocha look at the screen what the hell is that caroline thank you for the super chat stephanie <laughs> stephanie <laughs> mom i'm scared same same girl what the fuck is this we can just leave this up on this this screenshot is better than this whole video Dog shit on bread. My dog wouldn't eat that shit. <laughs> Actually, probably would. What am I saying? As long as I didn't cook it. Hates my cuisine. Love everybody else's. I'm just butt hurt. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Sparkly Sprite Pondu, thank you for the super chat. Are you talking about the naked and playing into... What? Wait, what? Are you talking about the naked and playing into, weirdo? I'm going to try a third time. Are you talking about the naked and playing? Is that the thing, the thing, the thing that I was tweeting about earlier today? The one that was uh, like um, stroking that little freak on uh, live stream? I'm so confused. Naked and laughing? Is that the one? I don't know. She She's like a drunk and she was talking shit. I have no idea. D d Queen Cobra. She was like stroking his um junk on uh, live stream on YouTube. I don't follow the Twitter stuff either, so I have no idea what they're go gossiping about over there. She was talking shit about me. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> but no, that's not Amber. That's a whole other thing. Man, there's I, too many fights on Twitter. You got to specify. You know what I mean? I'm like. Who are you talking about now? <laughs> you just thank you for the super chat. Thinks she's given up now that she's got the 100K. She seems to have no steam left. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe that's what life's like when you so rarely ever have some kind of like a goal or aspiration. When you get there, you, you don't even know what to do with yourself anymore. Whereas the rest of the world would like, okay, great. Check up, check that off and like move on to the next goal. She's got no next goal. This is the legacy. She probably never thought. She yeah, I know. This is where she thinks that she's peaked and she doesn't know what to do with herself next because she didn't do it organically. And so she doesn't actually have an audience following her. And whenever she does a live stream, she doesn't have enough people in the live stream and enough views following the live stream to maintain her income. You get here and now she's, yeah, she's like lost steam. Nobody gives a shit that she got a hundred K. It didn't change a goddamn thing in her life. It didn't make Sal love her anymore. You know, she didn't wake up skinny the next morning. It was all for nothing. Yes. Her legacy. Yeah. Polar pinup. Thank you again for the super chat. Trotters like mutated gourds. It is. Listen, Look at the size of it next to her face. Wicked mom, you were right. Holy shit. Why? Why? She's got a big fucking face, too. That's not someone with a tiny little bird head. You know what I mean? That size of a face. And then look at the size of her hand. The fuck? I literally cannot wait. For what? Oh, Beetlejuice. I get you. I'm not sure if I should go the first week. Be so packed. But. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, Lynn, thank you for the clarification and the super chat. I didn't mean any shade by the naked and whatever. I didn't know what her name was. I've only ever seen that guy very, very recently. And only I've seen her because somebody clipped it on Twitter of her, like, kind of like stroking his junk through the pants on a live stream. I would have okay. never, ever known who this person was. So I didn't know her name naked in something. Oh, okay. You know, I do take some satisfaction in knowing that people like French Fried Girl and um, some of the other channels, Garlic Bread and stuff, are getting more views on their channel, their channels, than Foodie is. Because um, that's how the whole scenario has flipped at this point is that the react channels are more interesting than her direct content because her direct content is just disgusting and boring and so the only way it can become appealing is by people commenting on it damn so, yeah that's a good point faces look at that massive and half of it is in a sort of chin and Side sp side face, side cheek, spanks. I don't know how you want to call that. Angel of Tempta <clears throat> Temptation. Thank you again for the super chat. Sorry, I'm bunning, you know. <clears throat> Full moon in three days. Uh-oh. Lock the doors. All the freaks come out. Yeah, we're... Um starting to see an uptick in coyote activity that always happens around the full moon in our neighborhoods down here. I hope it comes here. Who knows? I mean... Kuwait has, like, quite literally has morality police, so um, it's entirely possible that they may decide that movie is not appropriate for their audience. So that's the choice, life choice you made, Chantal. She just sniffed the burger. 
Why would you sniff the burger? Is it is it like rancid? But she's going to eat it anyway. If she had to sniff it, it can't smell that great. Ooh. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Ramadan, she's still monetizing her gluttony. Yes, while over 1.5 billion Muslims fast, pray, and atone. Chantal, God doesn't like ugly, but you'll learn that sooner than later. Dun, dun, dun. You're absolutely right. On top of the gluttony, there's the bullshit behavior. We're going to dip into her live stream next. And she, of course, jumps headfirst into the drama. She loves the drama. Talks mad shit. And then, like, a sentence later, starts talking about, like, well, that's between me and God. Is Shut the fuck up. So which one is it? Because you're not supposed to be having, let alone speaking about people like that during Ramadan. You're not even supposed to allow yourself to have thoughts like that during Ramadan. This bitch is going to burn so hot for so long in hell. All that grease is going to, it's going to be like the, the Olympic flame. That is the eternal motherfucking flame, and it's going to be her is the source. It is what it is. Hello, Nee Marie. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Who's meth head Amber? Oh, it's this bitch on Twitter. Irrelevant. Well, thanks once again, FFG, for um, capturing the content and providing your witty uh, react to it and um, allowing us lowly small channels to tag along and add our little spice to it as well. We all appreciate that. And I hope you have a happy...